Hello, my name is Kieran Dolan, and in order to encourage me to upload, I'm doing this uh, one take sort of deal where I don't do any cuts. Uh, hopefully, I don't get this wrong. This is a parallette that I made in just a few minutes with a chop saw and a bunch of PVC end caps and some PVC glue. So I started with some inch and a half PVC, all right? And then I took a chop saw and I cut eight, and there's two of these, of course, uh, because when you're using parallettes, you use them in, in uh, unison oftentimes. So I chopped uh, eight three-inch sections, which go right here, four six-inch sections, which go right here, and two one-and-a-half-foot sections that go right here, right here in the, in the big part. Um, of course, it's symmetrical. And I got eight end caps uh, because there's four on each of them. I got four T joints because of course there's two and four elbows, uh, again, two. So they work really well and I and you just PVC cement them together um, and then you're able to use them. I definitely recommend PVC cementing right here and right here. And if I were to do this again, this is a foot and a half. I think that it produces a lot more. I mean, I know it doesn't actually produce that much more torque, it's all linear, but uh, it produces capability for more torque along this joint and this joint, or along inside of this joint and this joint. So it's much, it's a more deflection when you're using them. So I would rather make this piece a foot or maybe measure out how how deep this is on either side and make this accessible section one foot i would also change this which i did actually design for this this piece right here that enables you to set the height i actually designed it to be removable because the forces are not lateral it's just up and down mo mostly i mean there's some but you know physics right so I designed it where you can cut this shorter, and I think in future I will be cutting a three inch section, and I may, if I were to redo this from the beginning, I would start with a three inch section instead of a six inch, because it's quite a lot of elevation once you add in, you know, the almost inch and a half here, and then the at least an inch and a half here. So, I highly recommend that you would shorten this maybe to four inches, but three inches is really minimum because of course, look how much space you have there after you get three inches. Um, so that's what I would do for next time. Also, you can paint this. I'm just really lazy. And honestly, I like the uh, PVC look. I don't think it looks that bad. Uh, another recommend recommendation I have is if you see that little dot there, I'm honestly not sure what that's from or why they do that. It's probably has to do with the injection molding. That's probably where they put their plastic in, but I don't know because it actually is quite smooth. What I recommend is that you put it on the side rather than the top, such that when you're putting your hands on it, the only real time you're ever gonna touch that is like this, but you're never gonna put your you know, hand, you're never gonna put pressure on it via your hand going down onto the parallette. So that's just my uh, consensus of this project. What you could also do is get a, a T-joint that has another joint coming out here, which is parallel with this elbow. And that, once you glue that inside piece together, you, might, you may get much higher torque uh, strength or what, well, yeah, yeah, we'll say much, much higher torque strength. I know that's not the right word for it, but you'll get a lot less deflection when you're when you're putting pressure here because these want to flex out. And if you glue them in at the bottom, then obviously you have a stronger frame. Anyways, four minutes and 30 seconds. That was my one take. First try. Um, I've got a lot more projects coming, but I'm so close to finishing them. So it makes no sense for me to release a video about something that's almost finished. Yeah. Uh, stay tuned.